NTV. Morning at NTV. We are live from Kampala Serena Conference Center. Mandru Chama, get on to our and see. And it's gratifying to have you all just this Saturday morning. Those watching us online and on YouTube and Facebook, we're saying thank you so much wherever you're watching. And those keeping tabs on what is happening in our country, it's something very, very great. Now, Yesterday we ran a story, something to do with the petitions. Currently, there are webs of petitions in the different political parties. In NUP, everyone is spitting venom from the far ends to the far end of Timbuktu. The same applies to the NRM. People are saying that you either announce me the winner or not. Let's take a look at this story and we'll be back to you. Fortunately, the tribunal concurred with uh, our players they indeed agreed that there were irregularities and ordered that we should have a retire in the 16 contested villages where the, 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 the judgment was released on, six, uh, on 29th of September. It is unfortunate that we have appeared before uh, the Chairman Electoral Commission three times when this gentleman, Honorable Musazizi, does not come with any evidence to prove that he actually one, I personally am mentally disturbed for two weeks following up on this issue, which cannot be concluded. I would have embarked on other things. By this time, we would be in the process of reconciling our voters, our electorate. But we have not been able to do this because we are still pulling here and there ropes. Numbers do not lie. We have evidence. We know one plus one is two. We there are some polling stations which never voted like one you find they have results then those which voted they have no results so this this shows how how terrible rigging was unfortunately i have heard that there are some residual, residual petitions either they have had them but decisions haven't been made or others they haven't even been heard at all and they have fixed latest by by 9th by 9th october all petitions they say should have been concluded in order to enable people to prepare for the nominations on the on the 12th and 13th. We have traversed the entire constituency, particularly our various electoral areas as NUP candidates and found that the selected candidate is extremely unpopular and outrightly rejected by the voters. Going by, going by, by his behavior and character, the voters strongly believe that there is a very big disconnection in terms of capacity, capability, and ratio, ratio not between the candidate and the, the organ of the parliament. We, we I signed a, peni, a petition, a petition. We are arguing those people to bring back our Chidandala on board. If they don't bring him back, I'll support him no matter what. Even if he comes on a spoon as his, as his symbol, I'm willing to move with him. I'm not willing to, to, to move with the D fuller. <laughs> that the voting committee revisits its decision of giving us Segirinya Muhammad. We want Sulaiman Chidandala and we are ready to move with him all the way up to the end. Strongly believe as His Excellency Chagran Sentam moves to State House, he must move with very solid leaders, very tested leaders who can really help him run government. And I strongly believe I am one of them. I call upon my brother, Honorable Sulaiman Chidandala, that we should work together uh, for the benefit, for the betterment of our constituency, respectively. <laughs> My next guest represent political parties that have the same issues right now. They both hold primaries different ways and they are now facing protests from different stewards, including ministers like Monica Mukamansaru Pendi, who are threatening to sue the party 
While in the National Unity Platform, the so-called originals are facing off with those who joined from the DP bloc. Some even rejected results and will come as independents. Today we want to ask, are the independents a threat to political parties? To speak to us, we have the Director of Communication at the NRM Party, um, Mr. Emmanuel Dombo, and Joel Senyonyi, the spokesperson of the National Unity Platform. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Andrew. Um, it's an honor to have both of you here. Thank you, guy. Right away, you don't want to see. You dress smartly and so on. You're always in SCs. You're be, no longer be, be, want to see. Doesn't mean Mutua I'm going want to see is me because I'm always in the ghetto. <laughs> Come Nakawa. on, <laughs> Mr. Dombo. Good morning. Good morning, and it's a pleasure for me to be here today. Ab absolutely. Um, given, the social, given the social distance, yes. Let me remove my mask so that I can be able to communicate with is. Absolutely. Dombo, where are the government masks? <laughs> <laughs> the people, the people have them. <laughs> Very few have got it. They've been promised that in about Joel, two months. Joel, okay, you're protected, Mr. Dombo. Uh, for, to start off this conversation, <laughs> we've started the two stories where NRM people spitting venom. We ran a story on Tuesday, Mr. Dombo, where the uh, minister Saro Pendi said, "You either announce me as the winner, or there are no primaries." We are getting to that level. Mole Kamukama equally did the same thing. What is happening in NRM? Have you ever participated in an election? I have, when I was at campus. You see, when mm. the threat of losing power becomes imminent, mm. it becomes painful. And uh, You need to note that. We're and uh, if the processes are not properly handled, mm. in order to ensure that justice will be gotten by those who are participating, mm. it is likely to invoke a lot of emotions. Okay. And what people are saying is really understandable, given the circumstances under which we are operating. Mm. But internal as a party, we have capacity mm. to handle the storm, to deal with our members, mm. and to negotiate with them, and to have a discussion. Mm. Because politics is about talking and having discussions. Of course. So, there is a lot that happens beyond, behind the scenes, mm. which nobody will ever see. Mm. Uh, but want to, I want to assure you mm. that by the end of the day, NRM will stay united and we shall definitely go together in the main elections come 2021. Well, that is Mr. Dombo. NUP councillors, you saw um, they are saying even if their candidates <coughs> come on a spoon as their symbol, they're choosing to go this. Um, and yesterday I had Honorable uh, Mike Mabike here on site and he said that there is a lot of intrigue brewing in the NUP. What is happening back there? Look, elections are, are very emotive by their nature. Mm. People invest heavily their emotions, mm. their time, their resources, and their dreams, hopes, and aspirations. Mm. You know, somebody grows up saying, for me, I must become an MP. Mm. And here you are telling them they did not get a flag. Which flag they believed is going to mm. get them to parliament, to council, or whatever the case might be. Mm. So it's... It's totally, totally understandable, the mm. state of disconsolateness in which these are comrades are in, mm. uh, because they believed, once I get that flag, I will fly my way to parliament. Mm. And here is a process, a process which ultimately gets to see one person get the flag. Only one person can have the flag. Mm. And you see, each person has supporters. Indeed. And, and for us at NUP, what we have said is that uh, we are not going to allow anybody to hold us at ransom, mm. with, with due respect. <laughs> You know, and, and, and I say that as humbly as possible. Mm. Because there are party processes which mm. happened to select flag bearers. Which party processes? And they uh, said they were not, they, they were not, they were not clear. And, 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 and that's the falsehood of politicians. You know, mm. when, when one has lost mm. through a process, they will clutch onto straws and say all manner of things. Mm. But like I was saying, that there are processes. Specifically for Kawempe North, mm. those processes were done twice. The very first time, they produced certain results. And there was this grant all made and so on and said, okay, let's redo them. They produced the same results. Check it in. <laughs> People power. There you are. So uh, at the end of the day, mm. those are the results that have come through. Um, and look, if it is, even if it was Chidanda who had gotten the flag, mm. Sengirinya has also capacity to mobilize thousands of people to protest, you mm. know. So it's not unique that somebody will put together a number of people and say that... Um, this is the one we want, mm. or else nobody at all. Yeah, mm. but also another correction we have uh, gotten to learn. So it's not true that all of those are councillors. Many of them are aspiring yes. councillors. Some actually independent. Some of them did not get the flag mm. of NUP. Mm. You know, of course that doesn't take away uh, their right. Their, their, their right mm. as leaders in mm. their own right. 
But, but you see, at the end of the day, when there is a process that has happened, if you have any concerns, do raise them. Mm. And our comrade, Chidandala, raised concerns. And these matters were looked at again. Mm. But the process produced Segirinya again. <laughs> now, you might say Segirinya does not speak as good English as myself. Mm. He does not, you know, have as many Se qualifications is a hustler like us. as I have and mm. all of that. But mm. he's the person that the process has selected, you know, okay. that the people out there, when teams were sent on ground, mm. <laughs> it's interesting the results that came out. And then they were sent again. Mm. To re verify. Mabika said the, the process you used is NUP. Mm. It was selective. There was a lot of nepotism. There was a lot of favoritism. <laughs> and you didn't stick to the words you mm. gave with regards to the DP block that was coming, that some positions had to be ring fenced. Is, so is that what Mabike said? Yes. It was you on this set yesterday at the same Wait time like this. Did uh, you know sometimes you media, you like to make us fight? No, 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 no. So it's, it's I want record. to be sure that mm. you're saying. Honorable Mabike said yes. that when they were joining NUP, they were guaranteed that certain positions were going to be ring-faced. Is let that me, what he actually let said? Let me tell you exactly what he said. Mm -hmm. He said when DP Block was coming to NUP, mm -hmm. they said 11 MPs they were coming with, mm -hmm. their positions and mm -hmm. interests had mm -hmm. to be ring-faced. <laughs> then they had three <laughs> principles. That is Mabike, uh, Abed Wanika, and mm -hmm. Mukaku. Because they were leaders of some political parties, equally their interests had to be protected. That was gentleman's mm. argument. And when NUP got into the, the, the big drive and they said from the start they didn't want the party to be NUP, they had mm. vowed for other parties that were registered because they knew how Chualma was operating. You people and Bobby Wine decided to go the other way. And as soon as they came to the party, you decided <laughs> to do totally different things. <laughs> that it is not honest from that level. Mm. Look, um, I understand I'm going to be with uh, the Honorable Mavike tomorrow mm. on, uh, on the spot. Mm. I am hoping he will say the same things you're saying. I no, hope he will not we'll say play that him. for them. But let's mm. assume mm. he mm. actually said what you said. Mm. That's totally disingenuous. That's not true. Mm. Who reinforces positions? Everybody entered NUP at an equal level. Mm. Whether you were an MP, whether you were a leader, whether you've been in politics for 30 years, whether mm. you've been in politics for one week, mm. everybody was at the same level. That's why they went through the process. Okay, mm. so let me ask then. If it is true that the positions were ring-fenced, why mm. then did he have to go for voting? Why did he say, no, my position is already ring-fenced. Don't even call me for vetting. What it's he automatic. answered to that, he said, you can look at someone who is fishy, mm -hmm. but tell mm -hmm. him to give him a chance. And the fishiness gets exposed. Honestly, assuming, <laughs> assuming, I want to believe he didn't actually say that, but let's assume he said that. I will send you the link that, and you'll see that, this. That yourself. makes him a huge liar. Assuming mm. he actually said that, mm. you know, there's no such a thing as ring-fencing a position for anybody. Everybody that came in, we're not begging anybody to join any, any UP. Mm. We were not. We said, whoever is willing to join us, please come and join us. The doors are open, <laughs> all right? We're not going to force anybody. Likewise, we're not going to beg anybody to join us. Whoever came, yeah. came willingly. And, and for that matter, yeah. we said, nobody's joining us with any conditions. If you have your conditions, you stay where you are. Because we, we are not <laughs> begging anybody to join us. So there was no such a thing as, I'm coming to join you. But on condition that you ring face my position. Because oh. I have the numbers. He said numbers don't lie. You well, <laughs> that's a conversation again to get in there. Mr. Dombo, there is a very contentious um, petition that has taken long. That is the Rwanda East uh, um, primaries. It, it has dragged on. First, they were called. They have been at the, at the, the tribunal four times. Um, a judgment was made. But still... There is no headwind that is coming from this uh, from this issue. In Rwanda, people are protesting. Police is deployed every now and again. Um, we we have a story where people cannot even go to the gardens because they're not sure what is coming. This tension brewing up in the NRM. Why can't the tribunal and the electoral commission say this is what needs to be done and we go back and we do that because they have 16 villages that have not been recounted, yet the tribunal said we need to go back, these are the contentious uh, villages, we need to recount, and then we get the, the results. <coughs> Before I comment <laughs> about NRM, <laughs> I want to... I knew you were coming to... I want to sympathize you. Enough problems in your I want to sympathize you. Allow <laughs> him to express his opinions, Joel. Please carry on, Mr. Is actually, just no, very quickly no, before no, 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 see no. that. They Joel, have a lot more problems Joel, than us. Joel, <laughs> allow him express himself. I'm not saying... I'm You're not protected. Saying, I'm yes, not saying ahead. the NUP has problems. Yes. But I was just imagining mm. the transactions 
that have been taking place mm. right from the time of buying the party. What transactions? <laughs> what because you and, 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 and negotiations. <laughs> Manuel Dombo, you are a reasonable man. At least I see you. Joel, outside. allow him no, some. I read, I read, no, I read, I read Joel, the you papers. react later. And all the things I'm commenting about mm. is because I read them in the papers. Yes. I can never, mm. ever come here to assert anything. But mm. because the man even himself said in court there was no such a thing as buying even the so even, where are you getting that even from? the negotiation mm. even the negotiation by Honorable Mabike, because he's also a very good person. Yes. I was with him in Parliament. Mm. He's a former member of Parliament. Mm. And he's saying that there was a negotiation. Mm. You see that's, when the issues become transactional let him when, bring that evidence when the, when the issues exists. become transactional. <laughs> hey. So I was wondering this <laughs> little how a fight is going to go of, of transactions of transactions and where will it end mm. but i don't know because i'm not an up so mm. don't talk about so, things you don't so, know talk about but, uh, those you're confident what, what he to talk about the since 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 Mavike was here and he talked about it mm. and he's a member of NUP, mm. who am i not to believe him so <laughs> but uh, and he was denied <laughs> a party ticket <laughs> many other people are but saying you know many the, things i hope you, you know want the, us to believe you know the problem no where where's the problem coming from people power you but, see People like siloganeering. Mm. They don't know where the power of the people lies. The ideology. The people of the the power of the people lies in the lining behind in the back. If you want a flag, mm. and that's why I would strongly encourage mm. the people of Rwanda, if there is a disagreement, mm. let them go to the village. The yeah. sixteen villages, people will line. Mm. You people and they will down. show Mr. where they are the power. Each other, they have fought each Joel, other. Joel, they, this they is show. my show. <laughs> You invited Dombo. me to be part of your show. Mr. So. Yes, but you're going to follow my rules here. <laughs> Mr. Dombo. Yes, please. You and RM, you say that lining up is going to um, give us a free land where it is going to be in broad daylight. Fairness. Which they did. But it has caused more, more mayhem. <laughs> People are killing themselves. People are shooting at one another. Let How do we say that this is a cohesive let approach? Let me to tell have? you, mm. the problem was not with the lining. Actually, in the villages, people lined and the voting ended. People mm -hmm. celebrated their victories. But the fraudulent election officials subverted the will of the people by changing the results on the way. Do you believe corruption and bribery in one way or the other mad all this uh, practice? My friend, mm. at the beginning of the earth, God created the Ten Commandments. Mr. Dombo. And he, <laughs> he specifically provided for those things mm. which were inherent mm. in human beings mm. don't thou shall not steal mm. thou shall not do this mm. thou shall all thou the things, shall not lie even when they were saying that because god knew mm. that inherently in our nature mm. this is part of us and unless there is a rigorous regime mm. either legal or structural mm. then people are capable of doing those things so for us in the nrm it is the fraudulent election officials especially the district mm. and the sub county registrars who have created us this challenge but the process have you arrested the ones who have actually been um, implicated they have this? arrested some mm. but i think uh, the party may have to take a very strong administrative decision mm. this i don't want to preempt mm. because uh, when the central executive committee sits mm. the chairman will be briefing us mm. but he already wrote to the inspector general of police directing him to say kindly mm. if there is any criminal conduct let the police take over because that's not administrative in the party mm. when you fraudulently change your results when you m m kill people mm. when you use violence against the people that is criminal mr dombo let's talk about election yes. financing uh, th the wave of money we saw in the nrm primaries what does it show to the nation because People were just shown 5,000 shillings and they all swept to another side. People were giving out money on lines in broad daylight. People were recording this, Mr. Dom. I'm surprised that these videos which were circulating, mm. nobody has brought it before the tribunal because this is, uh, this is outright evidence which should have caused somebody to get disqualified Mr. or somebody Dom, You said you read news. And you watch news. You didn't see this anywhere in the news. No, I'm saying I saw it. Mm. But I'm surprised that mm. the people from that area mm. who saw the thing on the media. You see, a tribunal like a court mm. cannot be moved by itself. It must be moved by somebody who brings information before it. Mm. So, by this information being available on social media. So, and NRM nobody cannot pick a link from a, a media house like NTV and say this is what was reported and this is happening and is it's, it's, it's not valid enough? No, somebody must plead it. Those are the rules of the, the tribunal and the judicial mm. process. 
the judge will see it and he read it in the papers that this has happened. But do you agree a lot of money was splashed Absolutely. In? I saw it and it was criminal and some of it. By the way, using money mm. is not bad in the elections. And there is Come nobody, and there is nobody mm. who will conduct an election without using money. There are big fundraising. You saw Trump canceling fundraising meetings okay. because he was going to raise money. You need to do adverts. Mm. You need to do posters. You need to do publicity. Mm. Even now, because we are not going to do rallies, mm. you even want more money to do airtime yeah. air for publication. Mm. Even transport of agents, that one is necessary mm. and is provided for in the law. Mm. But what we saw trending on the social media mm. is, is totally unacceptable, is totally criminal. Mm. And I want to repeat here that I'm surprised that the people who come from these respective constituencies mm. wouldn't want to use this to bring this before the tribunal. If they did bring it before the tribunal and mm. the tribunal did consider it, mm. I would be very surprised. Joel, you want to react to this? I could see you burning money. No, their <laughs> house is burning. I'm not burning. <laughs> but, but look, <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's amazing uh, mm. when the director of communications of NRM, mm. um, he... He is, by the way, in, in, in many respects, an honest man. Oh, you yes. Know? Uh, mm. <laughs> and that's part of the challenges that he had previously. You know, he used to be the leader of PAFO in parliament. Yes, yes. Very aggressive and rigorous until mm. they told him, hey, calm down, calm yeah. down. Then he turned down. But <laughs> inherently, by his nature, he's, he's an honest, honest man. man. And, you know, mm. so he was very honest when he told you that the challenge was uh, election officials of mm. the NRM who were fraudulent, you mm. know. And, and, and so they're admitting that they're election management officials. Mm. Are very fraudulent. What picture does this, this depict? These are the people that are going to run our coming election. They're the ones in charge of government. So they superintend over mm. our election process. So mm. when they tell you that our election, their election, mm. was fraudulent, was manned by fraudulent people, mm. as a country, we should get worried. Maybe they're saying that they have learned from there, they're going to fix it, that when they get on this side mm. of the river, it will be all safe well, and It happens every election cycle, you mm. know. So we, we need to be very concerned as Ugandans. Yeah, NRM is not one ele organizing I elections. In the I, I was very really careful with my wordings. Yeah, you're the people in power, so you run government, you superintend over all these things. <laughs> Who appoints? <laughs> The election uh, officials, the national election officials. It is they are the voted by parliament. Of the NRM. I'll, I'll, so I'll, I'll let's respond. move away from I'll, there because then respond. we'll just get into semantics. But, but, but also just to give you some very context, little mm. legal advice. Mm. I know some little, little, not so much, mm. just, just a little bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mr. Domo, Honorable mm. Domo, when, when you see irregularities happen and they're glaring out there, you don't say, no, I'm waiting for somebody to come and report to a tribunal. Your party constitution, I've looked at it. It has disciplinary Committees. measures, sanctions, mm. and all of that. You can actually take action against party members whom you have seen on television dishing out money. Mm. You don't say, no, I'm waiting for that person's opponent to come and report to tribunal. The tribunal issue is to do with, okay, so who gets to win the flag and who doesn't, yeah? Mm. But then the party provides for disciplinary mechanisms away from even the flag, who gets the flag and who doesn't, yeah? Mm. For you, you say, wait a minute, we have seen one of our party members dishing out money, which is an irregularity. You don't wait for that to go to the tribunal. The tribunal is handling matters to do with the flag. You this say, no, this one, be active. we should take action. Mm. We should take disciplinary action against this person. So your excuse that you're waiting <laughs> for the <laughs> opponent of the one who was giving out money to come and report. And yet you are conceding, you're acknowledging here on national television mm. that you saw. For heaven's sake, take disciplinary action. It's provided for within your party constitution. I'll respond to that. Anyhow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, again, away from that, mm. um, getting back to my tough. Mm. Like I said, elections are very emotive. Indeed, they are. And uh, when, when you go through a process like this one, you know, it was interesting to see, yes, uh, people are saying they're councillors, and for them they're saying this is the one that we want. Mm. In Chad on the East, mm. when Honorable Chagulani was standing for parliament, mm. majority of the councillors in Chad on did not support him. Because they didn't believe him. They said, this one here is a newcomer, Shah. Is, uh, why is he coming to our turf? Mm. We have our person, you know, majority, majority mm. of them, rally mm. behind uh, can't mm. majority of them. But as you know, the rest is history. Mm. That man won on every polling station. That doesn't happen regularly. <laughs> that you'll win at every polling station. Yes. Yeah? Never mind that majority of the councillors say, mm. uh, ah, this one, sure. You just come like this and then you want Newcomer. to... Newcomer. You know when we were in school, there was such a thing as a busu. I don't know what it's called in English. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that, that somebody would be eating something and yeah. samosa and then you do this. <laughs> and, and you <laughs> so they said, this one here is coming to do this busu. to us. We shall not allow. <laughs> yes. They tried to do that in fencing. 
but, but but you see politics is morphing mm. it's changing every so often mm. you get to see new players that you would never expect mm. and you see for me at the end of the day you're looking at leadership mm. Andrew, Savage. you can speak impeccable leadership. I mean, mm. English. You mm. can have credentials. Mm. You can even be a professor. Mm. But then you're a thief. <laughs> I'll interest you to read the annual Auditor General's report. It's produced and it people shaking. in Parliament, it you know, look shaking. at it. Challenge is they always look at one for two years ago. They are always uh, behind schedule. Mm. When you read the annual Auditor General's report, and you see the thuggery in this country mm. by smart, nice looking people, very well educated, they speak very good English. Mm. I'm thinking, no, I would rather somebody who doesn't speak I very good English. Mm. You know, <laughs> I live in extremely, oh my goodness, these people go to churches on Sunday, they're given, the, have they are given the front pew. Mm. They're and given the front pew and they're given a microphone. <laughs> Honorable Minister, please, you know, address us. <laughs> and then he will say, I've given uh, 200,000 shillings, and then they will clap or whatever mm. the case might be. But those people, when mm. you read the auditor general, and here we are not talking about a report by mm. some NGO, because it's you see, if it is NGOs and mm. so on, government will always say those NGOs, they have an agenda, mm. they waste an agenda, External they want influence. to make us look bad. Mm. No, 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 this is a government department. Yes. It's just that people don't like to read, unfortunately. Yes. But you should read that document. You will be alarmed at what you see there. Mm. And so, when the people say, no, 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 we have had enough of the English speakers, mm. you know, they still want some English Let's speakers. Let's get Sagirin, you know, yeah? Uh, and, we and, and, and it's a balance, yes. you know. I don't speak very bad English. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> but you see, if people somewhere say, this guy, he does mm. not speak as good English, he may but not he have uh, a PhD or whatever mm. the case might be, mm. but we have tested the fellow. Mm. We have seen what they're able to do. We'll, we'll go with it. Let's him. try them out. We have tested the others who speak very good English, mm. who have all these credentials, but they have let us down. And Ugandans yeah, have gotten to that point. They mm. say, let's try this one who does, who is like us, mm. who understands us, and we have seen him taking care of, of the predicaments that we have. Absolutely. Now that brings us to the conversation of the independence. Mr. Dombo, the number of independents, everyone who is vying to come for independence, seems to be going. I don't know how many numbers you have that side. What are you going to do about the independence? Yesterday I saw you telling us in media that you're calling all those aggrieved to come back who we talk and we could put give them some positions in government that would still serve the bigger agenda. But is that enough? You see, in most times, mm. why you find us trying to be, to try using a judicious process mm. to create justice. Mm. Wherever there is injustice, people get angry. Mm -hmm. And when they get angry, they react differently. Mm. So the first thing the party has to do, and we do as a party, is to create justice, mm -hmm. a just process. Mm. That's why you saw the president, when he visited the, the other time he gave a statement at the NRM party headquarters, mm. and he directed the inspector general of police to get involved. That was an acknowledgement by the president, who is the chair, national chairman of NRM, that there was a problem. Mm. It's not usual, usual that the president will direct that Gagwan investigate unless mm. there is. Two, the national chairman put up investigative teams mm. from his office mm. to go in respective constituencies. Fact-finding mission. To do fact-finding mm. mm. and <coughs> make recommendations to him. Mm. I don't know what they have found out and what they have recommended. Mm. So the issues I'm raising here on the media, mm. I didn't come here to conceal anything. Yep. Because whatever has been in the public, the media has put it out. Mm. So, I want to tell you that's how transparent NRM is. <laughs> and that's how we are going to keep informing the public. If you saw those media videos circulating, mm. the people who usually give money, they don't come and give money themselves. You didn't see any serious part official, mm. giving out money. Their agents are doing that. They use, they rely on mm. people on the ground mm. to do that. Mm. But you don't know whose agent it is. Oh, come on. No. <laughs> let me tell you. Mm. Now you're veering away from what you just said. That you're no, let, let, let me tell you. Allow we, him conclude. We, let me tell you. <laughs> mm. People do a lot of, they even skew stories. Mm. They even Photoshop. They can get Sagrinya's mm. head and put on <laughs> his, his body and put in the media. <laughs> so, technology and human beings are capable of doing anything. So, a yes. judicial process, mm. somebody must 
come and make a petition. Mm. If an investigation must be done mm. before decisions can be taken. Okay. Even when we have regulations and rules mm. in the constitution that people will have be this or this, we, do, we have a code of conduct. Mm. That code of conduct to be implemented, somebody must be petitioned because you must have seen. But coming to the independence, mm. independence are a guaranteed, are a guaranteed uh, human right mm. within the constitution of Uganda. And everybody is free mm. to express himself or herself or to associate the way he or she wishes to. But there is going to be a fundamental problem. If my friend goes to parliament, mm. this is an issue parties will have to sit down and discuss. The issue of independence? When we were under the movement system, mm. individuals came and competed because it was an, indiv an individual agenda. Oh, yes. The question is what do individuals have to do when organizations are competing? Mm -hmm. If NUP is going to compete with the NRM mm. or with the DP, Mm. Why should an individual come and say, I also have an agenda? Because it feels that unfairly is, treated. That is something mm. that is bigger, and the parties will have to sit and discuss it. Mm. Our constitution allows it, but it's not that every constitution allows it throughout the, the other world. countries. Mm. So for us, as a party, we have first, the first one was to do justice. Mm -hmm. And doing justice, we had to do it by putting up a tribunal to look through the processes mm. and tell us whether that was just. Mm. To people who are not satisfied with the outcome of the tribunal, the mechanism is going to be different. We have set up a team of uh, very eminent personalities from the party mm. to go and talk to the people. Because politics is all about talking, mm. convincing, and explaining. There is a lot of talking that is going on right now. What you saw me say in the media yesterday mm. was just a small tip of what we are doing as a party. I We're think what, what you're talking, what is going on in the background is not reflective of the actions on the streets or the actions of the people. I'll give you an example here in Kampala Central. Um, Namfuma Shamim, um, she, she has a petition uh, against Farida Nambi. And the dead Nambi was at the, at, at, at the tribunal. That was on Saturday. Namfuma mm -hmm. was not invited. So the... Either it's communication gaps in between that what is happening on the other side is not reflected this side because we were asking, where are you? You said, I didn't get an invitation. The same applies to Rubanda. Someone walks four, five times to come to get the final verdict and it's still dragging. Why are you not communicating what you're doing that side to these people who have petitioned then? What we did as a party, mm. first and foremost, was to announce in the media, mm. public media, Mm. to announce the people who had petitions mm. that if you had a petition for Kampala Central, come on such and such a day. Mm. And uh, we have you know, a better mechanism mm -hmm. than announcing in the media. Mm. I don't know. Could be when that one was announced, mm. Namfuma, is it on, you said Namfuma? Namfuma Shamim, yes. Namfuma Shamim may have failed to see what happened in the papers. Mm. But when you go to court, going into the papers and making an announcement, Mm. is enough public notice to anybody who wishes to. Mm. Whether his phone was off, because we also have a call center mm. at the NRM Secretariat, mm. we try as much as possible to contact everybody individually to ensure that he or she is either is served mm. and given the information when the uh, tribunal will be sitting. Mm. Now, I don't know under what circumstances that happened. Mm. So I don't have the information that I would mm. give freely. Okay. I cannot condemn Nambi or mm. Nafuka mm. or any other body mm. on what happened. But it is something that we shall look at and find out exactly what happened. And what we find out mm. will be the basis for us to invite them, to talk to them, so that we can find a way forward. Uh, Joel Senyonyi, the mm. independence from NOPE, are their concerns genuine when you listen mm. to them? Because as a leader, much as you don't agree with a couple of issues here, you need to listen and you weigh and you make a headway uh, of what is the way forward. S certainly, we, we are very understanding, and that's what I began by saying, mm. that uh, we, we understand their despondency, mm. that they, they're hurt. Mm. Okay? It's what natural. they wanted has not come to them. They, it's, it's human. It's, mm. it's totally understandable for them to be aggrieved, mm. okay? Uh, and, and be that as it may, for starters as a party, really our encouragement is that only the flag bearers get mm. to run. Really, mm. that's, that's our position. Uh, because when all the others run, 
then the votes can easily be split. Are the independents in one um, way or the other shaking <coughs> the cohesion in the party? <coughs> like I'm saying, what they're expressing now is grief and it's understandable. We, we as a party are planning to convene mm. a meeting of, of all these comrades that mm. uh, were not able to get the flag um, to, to see how we connect with them in, in their time of disconsolateness. Because mm. they, are, they are party members, they joined the party willingly, they joined it hoping they will add value to the party and we still believe mm. there's a lot of value they can add to the party. Just mm. because somebody did not get a flag does not mean that they are useless. I, I don't believe so. We don't believe so as a party. We believe you, that uh, you said they, they still have a, 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 a lot of <laughs> value. <laughs> yeah, of course. That does it. So when I say don't hold me a transom, it doesn't mean that you are irrelevant. No, no, no. Eh. I'm only saying don't um, twist me because some have been giving ultimatums. Eh. You know, if you don't announce this person Monaco within yeah. 24 hours, eh. you know, within 48 <coughs> hours. Mm. And that's what we're saying. No, please don't try and um, twist us. We'll not fall for that. We, mm. we are strong and formidable enough, mm. you know. And then we'll do it very calmly. You know, to say, please, mm. Munange will not allow you <laughs> to try and manipulate us. <laughs> are you disagreeing uh, on principle however, or uh, on issues uh, that, that, that are petty? Because and that's why we're saying want to meet with them and connect mm. with them. Okay. Um, and, and just see how we can together forge a way forward and, and build our party. Mm. They, they have grievances. Mm. They are aggrieved. They are hurt. It's understandable. After a process, whoever, by the way, gets to lose, regardless mm. of who, mm. they... they they, they, they'll feel disconcerted. You it's know, all this, uh, Joel, I'm thinking, all this mm. could have been done away with if you just held primaries. The mm. way the NRA, much as mm. it was messed up on the other side, that, we, that, 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 that ship sailed. Um, I have, and many of my other colleagues have uh, spoken about this numerously. We are about to sound like broken records, yeah? Mm. That ship sailed. We wanted to put hold them. We wanted to, but you saw everything that happened, even in areas where we tried to hold them. Mm. Some parts of Eastern and some parts of Northern Uganda, uh, people were roughed up, mm. arrested, jailed. Some spent 13 days in jail thankfully we're eventually able to get them out mm. you know recently police kasangati police raided our child on the east office mm. we're not a political party so you would expect that these people should know that this political party should be able to operate within you know because it's provided for within the law mm. they went to our office and arrested our um, officials there there were seven they said we are arresting because you're seven people in here mm. you are not supposed to be a seven of you <laughs> and i thought now these guys so what would happen if we had seven hundred seven thousand people there holding primaries mm. you know so it became complicated and we said, look, good enough, there's a provision within our party constitution mm. to go another way. And we did. And it's not a guarantee that when you go the way they went, then things will be rosy. Mm. They have so far had over six people who have been killed in mm. their primaries. Oh, yeah. And you know, usually, and, and having been a journalist for 14 years, mm. and with your experience too, you know that when they give you an official figure, you know that there's a lot more mm. than that. Yeah. Mm. So the official record is six. <laughs> now, one person dying is one too many. Mm. And several others are nursing injuries and all of that oh, yeah. through primary. So, whichever process you use, as long as it's legal, there will be challenges. What's important is how you try and manage it. And we are trying to do that. Luckily for us is that uh, at least if are not slitting each other's throats, they are not getting machetes and pangas and beating each other up. They are only complaining. They will hold a press conference mm. and express their grievances. That's a civil way of doing things. Uh, Mr. Dombo, as we're heading to um, 2021, election violence is something we just can't speed bump about it. Mm. And um, given that now the tension, the tensions are flaring, it's, it's, it's worrying at times when you see parents on TV uttering very heavy words, uh, language is very wrathful, and there seems to be a lot of vengeance coming on the other side. How is NRM finding modalities to make sure that we don't slip into <coughs> violence in 2021? This is not only, especially for the coming elections, it's not only for the NRM. Mm. It is for the police to see. Mm. It is for the Electoral Commission to take note. Because forewarned. Forearmed. Is for armed. Mm. They have seen what human beings are capable of doing. Mm. And this one was only getting a flag. Mm. The coming elections will be getting entry into parliament. Mm. It's not just having a flag, but you become honorable. That's heavy. Irrespective of how you have gotten there. Mm. So, the police should do enough mobilization. Mm. Parliament should provide enough resources mm. for the security organs. The Electoral Commission should do enough for mm. civic education. Mm. I want to tell you the biggest problem we have in Uganda when we go into elections 
is that people go on a one-way traffic yeah. to participate in the elections it's a do or die. and win. It's a do or die. And whoever participates goes and says, Kama, Mbaya, Mbaya. Mbaya. And when Mbaya comes, this is what comes out. The independence. People, the people, not the independence, people die. Hmm. Because somebody said, Kama, Mbaya. 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 I did attend a democracy course with the, this gentleman from Nakawa, DP. He has uh, continually contested in Nakawa. Um, from DP? From DP. Who be the name will come. Mm. And uh, we went to the U.S. for about two months. Mm. And there was something interesting which I learned. And it's some, one of the things we want to begin educating our politicians. Mm. In the U.S., for every position you are going to contest, you have to write two speeches before the elections are conducted. Conceding and <laughs> victory. <laughs> Even for the president, before, before the elections are conducted, mm. they ask you, supposing you won, what are you going to say? Mm. And supposing you, you lose. lost, mm. what would you tell the people? And so it's baby stepping you mentally. And, and mm. that skews your mind, mm. prepares your mind to know that there can be a, either outcome in an election. Mm. For us here in Uganda, I've witnessed the number of times I've been in an election that people prepare for only winning. And Sorry. when they lose, the others who die mm. themselves, the candidates, we have had situations where candidates have died in Uganda mm. because they have gone and the show mm. is so much that they can't believe that they are no longer going to wield the power mm. they have yeah. been having as members of parliament or mm. as ministers. Mm. So we must do civic ed enough civic education. Mm. And this civic education is not only wait for the time of elections. Mm. It should be a continuous process. And it must be introduced even within our curriculum mm. so that people are educated that participating in a, an electoral contest can go either way. Those are things that must be done. But parliament is put on notice. The speaker has seen this. Oh, yeah. If the electoral commission comes to you for more money mm. in order for them to conduct the better elections, parliament has seen. Mm. The minister for finance you have seen. Everybody has watched. The inspector general of police mm. has watched and now knows with the hot the hot spots mm. the only difference i want to tell you mm. is um and on another thing you should know this are you on a yet i will be any time now or to be <laughs> but <laughs> you should know this and yeah. the public mm. whereas we are going for the major election which is national mm. but by way of size polling centers and polling officials the NRM, nrm elections is far much bigger than the national elections Oh. In the NRM, we have over 68,000 polling centers because every village is a polling center. Mm. Even if you decided to use, to bring all the Ugandan police and say today they will not police anywhere and they are only going to police NRM elections and put two constables mm. per polling station times two, that's about mm. 140,000 policemen, which, which we may not have. be having. Mm -hmm. That to <coughs> know that police that election, you need a reinforcement from other related military institutions mm. to support the process. Mm, it's better so, use police. Other reinforcements have not come out through. So, well in the, in the so, I, so I want to tell you that uh, mm. even when people blame NRM, mm. they should also appreciate mm. that the resources that are at our disposal are not as much as the resources the independent electoral commission has. Mm. Because for them, they take a budget parliament. They, it's approved. They are, it is approved. Mm. They can even ask for a supplementary. Mm. But for us, you saw what the chairman did. Ah. In the circumstances that there was a problem, the mm. register was not ready, he said, yeah, what are the guy did? And he said, in the event that this happens, mm. first of all, do a voter's update in the morning before the voting takes place. So mm. those are challenges which come progressively. But I want to tell you that mm. out of this situation, NRM is going to emerge stronger more knowledgeable and they will conduct a more better elections in the future because right now by the end of uh, this month we shall be having a fully fledged register because the processes processes are ongoing okay joel Sonyany, as you're winding up this what could be your last word especially to your supporters or people who subscribe to part of nup in the wake of all these wealth 
Just before that, um, mm. I, I agree with uh, what Comrade Dombo has said, you know, civic education and all oh these yes. different things. Mm. But there's one very critical element which he left out, and I think deliberately <laughs> and conveniently. <laughs> but you said he's a honest <laughs> man before. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, now I'm, I'm beginning to learn that sometimes. <laughs> you're conveniently. Yeah, <laughs> partially he <laughs> chips away. And, 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 uh, <laughs> you you know. have taught us to amend anything <laughs> and everything. Mm. Look, yes, uh, with an electoral process, civic education and all these different things, but mm. most importantly, make sure it's carried out in a free and fair manner, in a manner that inspires confidence in all the participants. Mm. That's very important. People are killing each other. Why? Because, you know, they feel, no, somebody else is cheating and so on. Mm. We have had top officials in their party and including ministers and so on saying, my opponent rigged, my opponent ferried voters from Congo, from another country. <laughs> I thought that the primary is actually conducted in Uganda. <laughs> from <But> Congo? <laughs> there is a minister who was on TV saying, my opponent ferried uh, people from Congo to come and vote. You know? So why won't people slit each other's throats? Mm. Once they feel this process is not free and fair, it mm. doesn't inspire confidence in us. Mm. That's very important, Comrade Dombo. That's the justice and as we get I, into the, 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 the national election, we should pick these lessons, you know? Th mm. That once people see glaring irregularities, you just considered that your election officials of NRM who are fraudulent. You have said that on this very show. That's what we need to deal with. Mm. That once we are getting into an election, let's make sure we cross every T and dot every I. Mm. Let's make sure there is no fraud. L let's plug the gaps. We know that we are dealing with uh, human beings. Mm. Human beings are evil inherently by their very nature. So what do you do? Put systems in place that make it complex that mm. make it difficult mm. for people to do what they're trying to do. It's just like dealing with corruption. Your last word to the NUP. My last word to our uh, colleagues in uh, the National Unity Platform. Mm. Uh, we have been through this process. We have got flag bearers, mm. those that are disconcerted. Um, they are free to, to air out their complaints such that they can get to be looked at. Mm. But more importantly, I mean, this is the party that we just unveiled about, what, two months ago. Mm. And, and here we are. See, see how it is uh, moving and shaking. For me, I, I honestly thank God that uh, two months, this, all this is happening. We have flag bearers out there. There is stiff competition. That mm. means that we have come of age. You know? And so I appreciate people that mm. have uh, entrusted us <laughs> with, with this leadership. L let's keep moving together. Let's, let's keep as much as we possibly can. Yeah. Connect. Mm. Better this, our party. Mm. And even more importantly, better our country. Well, thank you so much. That, 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 that is uh, Joel Senyonyi, and of course, uh, he's the spokesperson of uh, National Unity Platform, and we had the head of communication from the NRM party, Mr. Dombo Emmanuel. Now, joining us from the Prime Minister's office, we have uh, my colleague Stephen Mbide, uh, who is meeting the Right Honorable Mary Karoro Krut to give us the highlight, the accountability of COVID-19 funds. We donated, yeah, industries gave a lot of donations, International Monetary Fund and the World Bank, we got a lot of monies coming into the country. We need to know how did we spend.